Hey students, myself Manatush De, your English helpline on the go. Today I shall discuss a lesson from Snapshot which is taught in CBSE curriculum of Standard 11. The lesson under discussion today is the summer of white beautiful falls. Dear students, kindly visit my website after signing up with your mail ID and access the detailed contents of all the lessons of your syllabus including reading, writing and grammar, spoken English, English for competitive exams and podcasts on a host of topics that really matter to us all. In this lesson, I shall focus very briefly about what the story is all about and the story sequence. So let's begin. This story is a fine depiction of virtues like trust and honesty, which is considered to be a pillar of all human relationships vis-a-vis -vis a strong human society. Let's know the story to understand more. This story is about two tribal Armenian boys who belonged to the Gargalanian tribe. The story talks about an incident that revolves around two cousins, Aram, who is nine years old, and Morad, who is 13. Aram narrates the story of his childhood when he was nine. He admired his cousin Morad, who was considered crazy by everyone of his tribe. Early one morning, Morad tapped on Aram's window, and Aram jumped out of his window and was utterly surprised to see that his cousin Morad was sitting on a beautiful white horse. Morad asked Aram if he wanted to ride the horse. Aram, being passionate about horses, could not turn down the offer. Poverty was characteristic of their entire tribe. However, they were renowned for their honesty, which uh, every member practiced as a tradition for centuries. Aram knew that Morad could never buy the horse. A member of the Gargalanian family could never be a thief. Aram tried to justify Morad's possession of the horse by telling himself that stealing a horse for a ride could not be termed theft as he was not going to sell it. Moreover, Morad was crazy about horses. Morad had a crazy streak in him, just like their uncle Khosrav. Uncle Khosrav was a big man with a large moustache. He was irritable and impatient and always silenced everyone by a roar. Once, his own son came to inform him that their house was on fire. Uncle Khosrav silenced him, roaring that it no harm and not to pay any attention to it. Morad wanted to ride alone, so he asked Aram to get down. Morad kicked the horse and it broke into a furious speed that delighted Aram. After racing the horse across the field and an irrigation ditch, they returned dripping wet. Not Aram leaped on to the horse, but the horse did not move. Morad warned him that they had to get back before everyone got up, Aram kicked the horse and the horse ran down the road to a vineyard and began to leap over the vines. Aram fell down but the horse continued to run. They finally found the horse but by then the whole world had woken up. Aram asked Morad when he had stolen the horse and since when he had been taking these lessons. But Morad replied that it was only since that morning. Morad walked the horse quietly to the barn of a deserted vineyard. The horse calmed down and Morad claimed that he had a way with horses. The same afternoon, Uncle Khosrav came to Aram's house for coffee and cigarettes. As he was talking to the family, Another visitor, an Assyrian farmer, John Bido, arrived. John was sad and regretted that his white horse had been stolen a month ago and could not be found. On hearing this, Uncle Koshrub became irritated and roared that 
after having lost their homeland, the loss of a horse was insignificant. Bido added that he had spent $60 on the horse and now even his carriage was of no use. He had to walk 10 miles on a painful left leg to get there. After Bairo left, Aram hurried to Morad's house and told him of the farmer's visit. He also requested Morad not to return the horse until he had learned to ride. Morad wrote that the horse must go back to its owner and said that learning to ride would take Aram almost a year. However, Morad agreed to keep the horse for six more months and then return it. Every morning, they took the horse to ride and as well as the horse would throw Aram down and run into vineyard. One morning, when the two boys were taking the horse to, the, to hide it, they ran into John Bairo. Bairo studied the horse in minute detail and explained that the horse he had lost was identical to his, to this horse. Early next morning, they took the horse to Byros vineyard and put it in the barn. Morad put his arm around the horse's neck and patted it. That afternoon, John Bido came to Aram's house and showed them the horse which had miraculously been found in his barn. He also announced that the horse had become stronger and better tempered too. Uncle Koshrav, who was in the parlor, became irritated and roared not to pay any attention as the horse said, returned. So dear students, that's all about the story at a glance. Hope you understood the narration. Dear students, just a recap before we wind up today. The story is a fond recollection of the narrator's childhood. The words um, good old days in the beginning of the story is suggestive of the magnificence and splendor of the world seen through the eyes of a child. Towards the end, by returning the horse to its rightful owner, John Byro, without anyone's knowledge, Aram and Morath upheld the pride of their family. So, read the story once again and it will certainly make an interesting reading. Till I come up with another video, keep watching my channel and for NCT solution, kindly visit my website. The link is given in the description. Thank you so much dear students for watching.